Hey, let me, hey, Mike, let me know how the signal is. Is the signal one? Hit that like button. I'm going to the sheriff's office to talk on behalf of Mark Clements. Mark Clements spent 29 years in prison, or 28 years for a crime he did not commit. Uh, hit a one. Is, am I staying in focus? Okay, good. I want to do it live, but if it gets all dusty and st stuff, I, I, gotta, I have to get the footage. Anyways, Mark Clemens is the head of the Inglewood Torture Center. The Inglewood Torture Center is in Inglewood. It's part of the reparations that was given to Chicago on behalf of Chicago after uh, uh, John Burge uh, and his uh, cronies, the Midnight Crew, to tortured over 200 individuals. Mark got arrested at the age of 16 uh, for what the state said he did was he was the lookout for somebody burning down a do adults burning down a building. Now, the only person who went to jail was the lookout. Now, he didn't even do it. He wasn't even the lookout. He wasn't there. He didn't do it. I know who did it. Uh, and when the inter interview comes out, it, it, it'll show. He's at every single person's um, uh, court hearings. He goes and he devotes his life to other people. If you saw that video, he's scared. He's in them. He was 16. He didn't come home. For, uh, for for 26 years he's terrified this is a, this this is a warrant from 2018 why pick right now to come get him during the coronavirus why hit the like button come on guys hit the like button why why, why come and get him a 2018 warrant for it and part of the warrant is uh, okay there's a thing called an Alfred plea anybody that's familiar with the West of Memphis 3 case an Alfred plea is Okay, here, if you sign this paper and admit that, say you're guilty, then we'll let you out of jail right now. Well, one of the guys in the West Memphis 3 case was on death row. They, the, his best friend didn't want to sign it, but all three of them had to sign it. And he signed it because he didn't want his friend uh, to get executed while waiting. You know, you, you, not everybody has the evidence. They know the person's innocent. They say, here, sign this paper. Well, then you can never come after him for money. It's a slick way of keeping uh, wrongfully convicted from ever suing you in civil court. I need my mask. What do you mean I don't need my mask? I need my mask. Oh, I need my mask. Hit the like button. There's only 44 people in here. Hit the like button. Fuck. Oh, damn it. Guys, could you hit the like button? I'm about to go here. I'm taking this off. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Do that right there. Oh, yeah, gain all news. I don't need a mask, so let me just go in there so they can see my face. Oh, am I going the wrong way? Sorry. This one way? I apologize. I'm trying to go to the sheriff's department. I got to talk to somebody in there about a, a gentleman that's locked up. Yeah, going down the one way. Here, let me take off my mask. This is exactly what I look like. Yeah, come on, guys. Use your head. Like, he let me... I knew I was going down the one way because... Uh, I mean, there's room for two cars to go past. But he let me know by going down the one way by driving straight at my car. I got my press pass on here too, guys. Hit the like button, hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button. It, it, not for anything, just so mm -hmm. that people are aware of 16, at 16, it, it, and the, uh, 2018 warrant, they just coming to get him right now. He was hiding in the shower, because the last time when he was 16, they said, just come with us. You'll be home in a half an hour, 45 minutes. He didn't come home for 28 eight years. 
They picked right now to come get him. None of them had masks on. One of them had a mask on. So we're supposed to listen to the governor. The governor says, oh, uh, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, 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 the, 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 this, this, this thing doesn't care that you're bored. This thing doesn't care that you, you want to hang out with your friends. Well, this thing doesn't care that you believe he has a warrant um, from 2018. And if you're saying you don't have masks, then don't go and pick up people for warrants. Because uh, the governor said this thing doesn't care if you're bored. It doesn't care if you want to hang out with your friends. Well, it also doesn't care that you're uh, picking on a guy that spent 28 years in prison for a crime he didn't commit. And he's terrified hiding in the shower. Can I talk to the watch commander? Uh, can I talk to the big dog? Who's the, who's the highest ranking guy on uh, duty right now? Uh, there's a sergeant on the street. Yeah, can I talk? Can you call him in here? Can I talk to him? Well, you gotta let me know what it's about. Dude. It's about a prisoner in which you're holding. Okay. How's the feed? It's uh, Mark Clement says, disorderly product news. It's the media is coming. Yes, yes. So he's, uh, it's some media guy or something like that. I don't know. Not, not something like that. That's exactly what it is. Okay. Oh. All right, let me go, all right? All right, my man. Okay. Thank you. Hey, it's coming up. Okay. Thank you, Walsh. Hit the like button, guys. Right. Okay, we can talk. For, okay, that's good. Uh, are you Sergeant Beavers? That would be me. Okay, Sergeant Beavers. Do you know that Mark Clemens, the gentleman that you have in the, your custody, he's a John Burge torture victim? I've heard of that. He spent 28 years in prison for a crime he did not commit. He had to sign an Alford plea. Okay. That, that's where you sign a plea to say that you're guilty, so they let you out right then. So then you have no recourse uh, civilly for uh, the to go against the state of Illinois to get any uh, compensation. So part of the reason he's in there is because of that. And this warrant, I believe, is from 2018. So I, I'm a member of the media. I'm wondering, and the, the, so are the people watching, why you decided to pick him up now if you guys aren't going out. And Oak Lawn said they're not, they're not even going to high-priority calls. I haven't, I haven't done anything like that. All I'm doing is housing. Well, but it was your men that went and picked them up. Hold on, I can only talk to one person at a time, buddy. If you're a member of the media, then you know you have to direct all questions through the sheriff's spokesman. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop. I, I don't even know who you are. You haven't identified yourself to me at all. Please, I'm talking to the sergeant. I don't even know who you are. Sheriff's Department. Hey, you need to You got a contact. You got a contact. You got a contact. Okay, what's your name? You got the contact. Who are you? You identify yourself to me. I'm asking you to identify yourself to me. What's your name? Who are you? You identify yourself to me. I'm asking you to identify yourself to me. What's your name? It doesn't. I'm a member of the media. It doesn't matter. I want you to identify yourself. I'm a private citizen. You're a public official. You know the difference between private and public? They're antonyms. They mean the opposite. So. Are you required by your policy to give your name, rank, and star number to any member of the department? Hey, Foster, come on. You wanted to butt in on my conversation. I was having a gentleman conversation. What, what's your name, rank, and star number? I'm asking for you. What's your name, rank, and star number? Are you required to have a body camera on anytime you engage with the public? Aren't you in, are, you, are you required to have your body camera on anytime you engage with the public? Okay, so hold on, but hey, Beavers, come back here, Beavers. Come back here, Beavers, with your Walsh. Hey, goddamn motherfucker. I don't want to talk to you. Hey, Walsh. 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 Hey,
That, uh, that's a joke, dude. I mean, I was having a, uh, uh, you were, you were, you know, I understand you just work here. Me and Beavers were having a, a, a normal conversation. Why he had to jump in and get like that is out of line. Furthermore, he's required to give me his name, rank, and star number by your part department's policy. Furthermore, I bet if I looked into your bar department's policy, you're required to have your body camera on anytime you engage with the public. That's a different, that's a different department. Okay, do you have your policy? Can I have a, can I have a copy of your policy? I don't. I don't. You can well, go online. Can you give me their name and can you give me both their names and star numbers? I don't know who the one guy is. That's a different department. I just know Beavers. And do you know star number? You, you don't know the other guy? Does he even work here? No, but they stayed back there. This is the police department. That's the, the lockup's deputies. Well, the, the, well, this is what I'm trying to get through. The guy, the last time the police came and got him, he was 16 years old. They told him he'd be back in 10 minutes. He didn't come back for 28 years. He was terrified. He was a grown man hiding in the shower. This is a, something from 2018, and you're telling me we can't get a judge on the phone to get an I bond on a misdemeanor? That's all I was going to ask him. I wasn't going to ask him. I wasn't going to get down on him. Like, can you please just call a judge and ask him if you could get him an I bond? Anything. You give him a thousand dollar bond. I'll pay the bond right now myself. That's it. The only thing I can tell you is what they told you is to call the press, the press part. You know, I can give you a phone number. I mean, but that doesn't help. I mean, the guys, it, it, this is this is this is a here and now situation. It's not a press situation. The guy's terrified. I mean, uh, it, what do you guys want? You want my car? I'll sign my car over to you. Let him go. I, I, I'm just asked. This is all I'm asking, Walsh. If you can call and ask if they can extend some kind of courtesy to try and get in touch with a judge. You understand that? I I understand. I understand that. But the, I mean. The, the, why that guy had to come in and escalate the situation like that is absolutely ridiculous. That was ridiculous. I, I understand those two aren't the guys that went and got him. I just wanted to have a diplomatic conversation and to see if we can get a judge on the phone and tell him the situation. This is this is a guy who spent 28 years in prison. This is a, a misdemeanor from 2018, and we're in the middle of a pandemic. Like it's it's ridiculous. Is it, I mean, is there any way that I'm gonna leave? I, I, but if you can. If you have a conversation with Beavers, can you ask him? I, was, I wasn't coming here to uh, belittle him, yell at None of that was going to happen. I was just going to ask him if it was a possibility that they can give him an eye bond or they can try and get in touch with a judge because of the circumstances. That, I, I don't know. I don't know how that stuff works. I'm not lying to you. No, I, I believe you. Complete different animal. I believe you. I believe you. So you have, the only thing I can tell you and the only thing I'm allowed to tell you is contact our press and then you can go through them, and you probably get better results through them. Is the is the press department here right now? No, but I can give you a phone number to call. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, but I'm sure they're not on duty. I don't have it. All right. Can give me, give me the now? yeah, please. And you're saying you don't know Beaver's star number? No, no, it's a, it's a different department. I know. Okay, but is it was, was it on his jersey? So yours is six two four. Was his on his? Were their star numbers on their clothing? I didn't uh, see no, it. No, they don't. They don't personalize. They just get. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, being law enforcement, you're supposed to de-escalate it. That guy jumped mm -hmm. in and completely escalated the situation. But it's the people that, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to be the people that decide things. He completely escalated that. I was just going to ask if there's a way to get to talk to the judge or uh, there's always prosecutors on duty uh, after hours because you have to call the prosecutor if somebody gets... Uh, um, charged with a felony. See how they charge them. They could have called the state, state, state's attorney, somebody that's from Kim Fox's office. They could have done anything. But they can direct you, okay? From yeah. There. That's 847-655-1188? Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you, uh, Sheriff Walsh. I don't know why that had to be like that, but it was. All right, so there you go. Guys, this is what we got. That's going to be happening a lot. That phone's going to be ringing a lot. Yeah, this right here. I got this. I got this from Joe Kaiser, guys. Go, Joe, to, go go to Joe Kaiser's site. It's good that you have these on your neck. That's ridiculous. That that guy came in there and ramped that up. 
The last time this kid was six, this guy was 16 years old. They said, you'll be back to your house in 10 minutes, half an hour. He didn't come home for 28 years. He's terrified. He's the head of the Inglewood Torture Center. He's the head of the Inglewood Torture Center. They had to give, they had to give reparations uh, after John Birch. Uh, after what happened with John Birch from, I believe it was 72 to 90 to 1990 or 1991. Over 200 individuals were tortured. That's what they know of. They, the, then the city of Chicago gave um, the torture survivors, they gave, they gave them a torture center. They gave them $5.5 million. They gave them, uh, they gave them, they put it in the curriculum. You have to, everybody in eighth grade in Chicago public schools has to learn about John Burge and, and uh, uh, the John Burge torture curriculum. So you not only do you have to learn about the Constitution to pass eighth grade, you also have to learn about John Burge to pass uh, eighth grade in Chicago public schools because mm -hmm. of that. And, and, and he goes to everybody's court date. He's there at every single person's court date. And he's still rallying for other people to get out of prison that are still in there. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying by any means. Uh, listen, there were people that, that got arrested and, and that were guilty. Mark was not one of them. Mark did absolutely nothing wrong. They know the whole time who did it. And the state's theory of events. Listen to this. In the state's theory of events, all he was was a lookout. And if we, if we go by what the state says, he was just a lookout while two adults lit, lit, a, lit a building on fire. Nobody else got charged or convicted in the case. Nobody else got convicted. He's the only one who went to prison, a 16-year-old, for being, quote-unquote, a lookout. He wasn't even a lookout. But I'm saying that's what the state said he was. He didn't do it. I, I know who did it. I, the, the interview will come out. In fact, I'm going to put the interview out earlier now. That's ridiculous. 2018 is from when, when this warrant is from. They came and got him during a pandemic. When If you go to my community page, the, the, where, where that where, it's out of Oak Lawn. Call the Oak Lawn Police Department. Why, why, are you sending, why are you sending the sheriffs out right now during a pandemic when you're putting out press releases that, say, that says uh, you're not going out for anything but high priority calls? You're only going out for high priority calls. So, uh, so why did the Sheriff's Department come out right now, today, three years, two years after uh, this warrant was uh, put out? I swear to God, if there was any judge, I hope the judge tears them a, a new asshole tomorrow. I, I, just a, then, so, so this is so, and part of it has to do with him spending that time in prison because you sign an Alfred plea. Look up an Alfred plea. Alfred plea is, um, it's, it, it was made famous in modern American culture by the West Memphis Three in Paradise Lost. West Memphis Three, um, all three of them had to sign an Alfred plea. To, and they tell you, they come to you, you've been in jail 15, 20, 30 years. Sign this piece of paper and you could go home right now. Well, if you don't sign it, you're not going home. I, I, I'll sign it. I, listen, get where, I was the guy on the grassy knoll. Give me that paper. I, I, I killed Kennedy. I was, I, forget about John Wilkes Booth. I'm the one who killed Lincoln. Like, I'll sign them all. Let me out of here. So what happened with the West Memphis Three was, um, two of them were in, one of them was on death row. Two of them wanted to take the plea. One of them that was in general population did not want to take the plea. He, he, he had been in prison so long and that's also, there's, there's a guy I videotaped, James Gibson. They went after him five, seven times. He turned them down. His co-defendant got out way before him. James Gibson, whose uh, case is uh, case law, the abuse of Gibson for torture. Now, uh, in the West Memphis Three, um, they all three had to go with it. The one that was in general population, his best friend was a guy on death row. So he said, I'm going to take the plea just because I don't want my friend to be to be killed while we're, you know, well, DNA catches up with this. Because what happened in Arkansas is where that was at, um, they had a shortage on... Um, on, on the drug they need to inject you for uh, lethal injection. So they, they tried to pass through and do uh, 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 um, like 10 executions in one month because they, they, they were about to go shortage and uh, they have a shortage and, and, and there was going to expire and they didn't want to have the chemical anymore to kill people. So it was more important to them. Go look at, look it up in Arkansas. They, I, I don't know if they, I don't remember the end of the story. 
what happened, but they're battling back for the court. I want to say that they did. It actually happened. They did like six executions in one month in Arkansas because the drug they had to use for lethal injection was about uh, about to expire. So that was more important than a human being's life. Because on the death certificate, it says a uh, uh, reason for death, homicide. If if you're if you're if you're if you're a death penalty case and you get and the state you know puts you in the chair or does lethal injection, the reason for death is homicide. Homicide is a medical term. Homicide, suicide, natural causes. There's only so many reasons you could die. Accident. I can't believe that 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 half. Of I I was having a normal conversation. Who was he to get in the middle of my conversation? You see how they use it every other way? They'll come up to me and say, I can't film, I'm not media. But then when they could squirrel out of something, oh, I'm media, I can't talk to you. Half the time I can't go places because I'm not media. The other half of the time they won't talk to me because I am media. So whatever benefits them at that time. Nicest guy in the world. I swear to God, he's the nicest guy in the world. He's at everybody's court date every single time. He, he's literally devoted his life to other people. You never hear him talk about his own case. You, you could, I guarantee any one of you who's on this live right now, you could talk to him for three days straight. You would never hear him say, I was in jail for 26 years for a crime I didn't commit. He would talk about all the other people that are still inside and haven't, you know, that they have evidence that they're innocent. He never talks about himself. That was it. That was a joke. I was I honestly wish you could call the state's attorney's office and explain to them the situation. That's all I was gonna why did he have to butt in? And you've seen Beavers there smiling like, oh I I said he's a John Birch victim. Oh, I've heard with a smile on his face. Fuck. What a joke. What a joke. Smiling. Oh I heard he was a Birch victim. Oh, oh yeah. Alright guys, I gotta calm down. I'm gonna take a deep breath.